Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to use Google Cloud Vision OCR technology to extract text from images. First, you need to go to your GCP Google Cloud account and you're going to create the API under API library. Type in Vision API, select Cloud Vision API from the list. I've already enabled this earlier. You may need to enable it if this is the first time that you've used this. But then once you enable it, you click on Manage. Mainly you're coming here for the credentials. So you're going to create new credentials. You select a service account, type in a name and a description. And then you click on Create. Once that's done, you want to grant owner access. Then you continue. There's no need to worry about granting user permissions. So you click on Done. Then you want to save these credentials to a JSON file on your hard drive. But first you need to add a key. Select the JSON format, and once you click on Create, this will save the JSON file on your hard drive. Remember where you stored this file. You will need to reference this location inside the code later. Okay, now we have the Google Vision server set up on the Google Cloud website. Let's cover some code. So this is a Jupyter Notebook. It shows how to use Google Vision, and it prints out the results from the service. First thing you need to know is that we will be using the Google Vision SDK package. Here's some instructions on how to set up your environment using Conda. Next, we use the JSON credentials file that we created earlier on the Google Cloud website and stored on our local machine. There's no need to modify this file. Everything's already inside the file that you will need. You just need to create an environment variable that points to it. Next, we have a function called detect text, and this does most of the work. Here we create a vision client you can see that's a Google Cloud SDK. It's using the image annotator client method. Next, we read the image file that we're going to process. We store the information in a variable called content. Then we use that variable when we run the vision.image function. We save the output of that into an image. This is where we're calling the Google Cloud client, passing in the image using the document text detection function. We take our response and we look at the text annotations from that response and then we create an empty list. And for every line in the result, we append another entry into the list with some formatting. We have a simple error handler here, and then my function returns the text that was found. We selected this image to use for processing. It is a driver's license, so we just call the detect text function up above using the image path to my image. And then the result is text. Then we display the first item from text. Then we display every item in text line by line. And then we're going to look at the image to see how accurate our OCR was. Okay, go ahead and run this. First, it's reading the image path, detecting the text. Okay, it's finished. It's pretty quick. This actually runs on some very fast SSD hardware with GPUs in Google Cloud. So of the three major cloud services, this one is the fastest. Here's the text that I found, and you can look at the text line by line. It will give you the format of key value pairs. If you need to know date of birth, it would be formatted like this. Mainly it's looking at the image to figure out what the fields and the values are. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the image and see how accurate we were. So in the image, you can see her name is Sample Janice Ann, and we have Sample Janice Ann in the output. You see the 128, 123 Main Street, Apartment 1, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All of this information is found in here. There's a few things that it got wrong, like Sertle, I think that's what I found in the logo. That's what it reads here. So when the text is clear, it's very accurate. However, the text is a little bit smaller, or maybe there's an image in the background, or the image is a little bit fuzzy, then it doesn't do as well. But overall, this is 90 to 95% accurate. So that's all we needed to show you. I'll save the code repo link in the description below if you want to go ahead and download the code and run this yourself. Otherwise, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching our video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. As always, comments are appreciated. See you next time.